Chester is meeting 25-year-old Siam, who is new to Canada. She's hoping that tonight she'll finally meet the one. Hello. Good evening. To be honest, I hadn't experienced love. My name is Siam, and I think someone is waiting for me. And I'm really interested. How does it feel? Love. I want to experience that. Right this way. But since living openly as a woman, Siam is short on experience when it comes to dating. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice. Thank you. I feel nervous and excited. Do you have any questions for me? Um, honestly, I'm feeling a little nervous. Right, so. Just relax. Siam and Chester's date is just getting started, but there's one question Siam needs to ask before it goes any further. You like transgender people, right? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, how did you realize that? I used to do security downtown, and every now and then a few girls would walk in, they would laugh, look at me. I just noticed there was something, something a little bit different. And one of them actually decided to have a conversation with me. Then later on, as I walked her back to her hotel, she told me. And she looked at me, she's like, are you not gonna run away? I said, what? <laughs> she's like, most guys freak out. I'm going like, why am I gonna freak out? It was your first time? Yeah. I like transgender women because they've gone through so much hardship and they're now presenting themselves as they want to be. I try to keep an open mind and I don't judge. I do sometimes care about what people think and say, but at the same time, whatever makes me happy is what I'm gonna do. Even if it means someone makes fun of you, yeah, so be it. Yeah, you're right. Your family's still in the Middle East? Iran, Iran. Any plans for them to come to Canada or? They like to live in Iran. Yeah, they're happy there. But I wasn't. This is why I moved. When I'm born, I was a girl inside, and everybody knew that. Isn't there an issue with transgender people in the room? It's hard for us to live there, because we should hide ourselves. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I was afraid for my life in Ira. Being transgender is forbidden, and it's punished to death. It's just about two years that I am like this, and I'm not afraid anymore. I've just started my transition, and with the help of the doctor, I can be what I am, which is this. So you're okay if your partner hugs you or kisses you in public? Yes. That shows a good relationship. If you can't show affection out in public, how can you grow as a couple? I think we have so many things in common with each other. <laughs> I think the same. It's great. Will Siam find what she needs in Chester? About your last date, was she transgender too? Yes. Did you talk about this with your friends and family? And... Um, my mom has an idea. That she knows that I'm a little bit different, mm -hmm. right? But a lot of the relatives are very old-fashioned, but that's okay. So you are so respectful to your family. Yes. Then you know how to treat your yeah. girlfriend and wife too. Good to hear that. <laughs> My biggest dream is to make a family for myself. I left everything in Ira, and I'm alone by myself. Just me. I have nobody else. Do you like to have a baby? <laughs> Adoption-wise, if it's possible, that would be great. I want to have my own family. Yes. I want to have my partner, my dog, maybe my child. Yes. Have my own family and start to living, you know? Do you like my makeup? Yes. Because I love makeup. Somebody thinks it's too much. No, no. You know what? You have a nice balance. It's very simple. It was a very wonderful date. We just couldn't stop talking. Thank you very much. No problem. Hello. Hey, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm lost for words now. It's normal. <laughs> Is it rainy? 
I, no, no, it's not. Just, it just seems a little misty. Do you want to see me again? Yes, it's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, you should help me for walking because okay. I have high heels and, <laughs> yeah. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs>